Welcome back to Landell, the royal capital in Elden Ring. Thanks for joining me again. Just the detail in this game. You just have to stop and look at it and just really be amazed at the detail they put into it. You get the Erd Tree up there on the wall. And you've got the Erd Tree here on this chest. The bottom corner of the screen, you can see that. These candelabras here, the detail they put into these things. I don't know what that light is supposed to be. I mean, it doesn't look like a flame. So I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it glows nicely. Well, I don't know if there's anything else for us to get here in this area. So we're going to run back over here and go down the ladder here. And we'll leave this place and we'll go down the steps back into the capital and do some exploring out here. See what there is to see. I wonder if that Crucible Knight will be back, the Crucible Knight that we fought in the last episode. I also wonder about this tree branch. That's too steep for me to climb down, I think. But I believe that is the tree branch or root or whatever you want to call it that we climbed when we came up here before. In fact, it is. That would take us back down to the other round table hold. But right now I'm going to pull this elevator up and we're going to take it down. And then we've got more of these candelabras on the wall here lit by... What? I don't know what that is. It's like something you buy for display at Christmas time or something. I don't know. So right ahead is where we fought that Crucible Knight. I hope I don't have to fight him again. But I might have to. And then here's this message. Regression alone reveals secrets. Why? Why does this message have to be here? Regression alone reveals secrets. I mean, that kind of makes me think about the catacombs we were just in. Where I felt like I kept finding myself in areas that I had already explored, except things were different the second time through. Oh, that was weird. Oh, why don't I just whiff on him? I still can't believe this guy, this other perfumer... Oh no, he did hear me, never mind. For some reason I thought that he did not hear that happening, but he did. Oh, no pain to him at all. Alright. Uh, both these guys dropped... Budding Cave Moss, Miranda Powder. Regression alone reveals secrets. I mean, it really does make me think that the game is telling me to revisit areas we've already revisited. I tell you what, man. Ten flasks does not feel like enough for me. It just doesn't. It just makes me nervous. I'm already in single digits. Here's this path that we saw. But last time there was a crucible night here. And also last time we hopped off the edge here to go down on top of that giant spear and grab the item off of it. It was a cool item, but just not going to work with my character. It's more for a dex or quality build character. Just looking at the rooftop here, wondering... If there's any reason for me to jump down on top of it. Is this another one of these dudes that I'm supposed to hit? And... Is this... It's kind of looking like it. Oh, he's going... Oh, missed him. Not sure. He's walking in circles here. Uh, I mean, jeez, I might need a faster weapon. I'm not sure if this is one that we're supposed to take a whack at or not. Oh yeah, I'm terrible. I'm the worst. I mean, what do I expect? I'm trying to swing this giant 
ridiculously giant slow weapon. Uh, I mean, this dagger is probably the fastest thing I've got. And I'm not even 100% sure that this is even... Oh, it is, though. Barrier of gold. Check it out. Is it in here? Nope. Must be in here. It's an incantation. One of the incantations of Erd Tree Worship greatly increases magic damage negation for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. This incantation was used by the champions of the Erd Tree in the first and second Lyurnian Wars, during which the red haired Radagon joined the heroes' ranks. We need a bit of faith to cast this. We ain't got that much faith. Just looking at those uh, domes on these structures over here. That is that cracked dome that we've been into before. So we've already run along these rooftops down here. We've got this perfumer. Yeah, you can see him right at the bottom of the screen. And there was another perfumer there with him. We've already been there as well. No need to go back. Uh, unfortunately, it is nighttime out here. And also, unfortunately, this is a dead end. What? I call, come all the way up here for nothing? What? Um. Let's let's get out the shackle here. Yeah, I don't really... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't really uh, see anything here, so... What? I don't know, I guess I just find it... Sometimes, you know, I've told you that when I play these games, I try to imagine these places as being real-life places that, you know, at least in a game like this, is no longer in use because of reasons. Wars and trees and stuff. Dragons. But I, I can't imagine what this was for back in the before times. It's just a big walkway that goes nowhere. It comes from nowhere. And it goes nowhere. I mean, what, why is this here? I mean... Sure, we hop over this railing here. I mean, were we supposed to once upon a time, walk up this hill and go in through these doors here, which are not sealed by corpse wax, by the way. They're just held shut by all this ash. So yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not seeing it. Just, plus, I'm just disappointed because I was thinking that we were getting ready to explore a new area, but there's nothing to explore here. And I guess other than that invisible dude, I don't know what to call those, the invisible scarabs, there's no reason to come up here. So, I'm kind of bummed about this. This is... It's kind of a bummer. Um, rooftop down there. I don't know. Let's jump on it and see what's up. Oh, I can't even do that. Just wanted to, you know... If I can get there... I'm going to try to get there. Sometimes... You find things. We hear the dude playing his little flute down there somewhere. Oh man, you can see from here that this guy's got the glowing eyes. Really makes me want to go over there and take him out, but he's got a lot of friends and we've already been over there and might be a bit of a pain in the butt to get over there too, so. Uh, I see got a, a marker on my uh, compass up there in that direction and I mean, I guess it's pointing to this one here. This is the one where when we were in the catacombs, in the subterranean area, not the catacombs, in the subterranean sewers area, I saw a hole above us and was wondering how to get to it. But I don't think it's you can get to it from up here. Well, I'm not seeing anything new for us here, so I think that... 
We need to return to the Erd Tree Sanctuary site once again. Way back over here. Because there is still another path we can take from over here. And it's one that I'm kind of nervous about because it looks to me like a fog boss fog wall right ahead there, right up there. That archway, if you look at it from the right angle, looks like a boss fog wall. Um, let's see, do I remember how to get to it? I think we we go up this way. Maybe. We come around. Oh man, dog on it. All right. Hey, this this tree roots are slippery. Just slide right off. Luckily, we didn't fall to our death that time. Turn on my light again. this guy out. Loading some kind of spear with leaves on it. Hey, man. Oh, oh, wow. Broke it into a bunch of pieces. I was actually just expecting my weapon to bounce off of it. All these... Finger reader crones here. Did they come here voluntarily? Were they drawn here? Were they imprisoned here? I don't know. Again, we're going to look down on the rooftops. I love the gilded domes and the gilded shingles, I guess, of these rooftops. It's a really neat look, and I mean... They've really done a nice job of making it look like something that's actually gilded. It's very, very well done, in my opinion. Oh! Oh, you're an enemy! This is a uh, bloodhound, dude. I'm surprised that worked. Got him. Nice. What are you doing, dude? Why were you here? Huh? Blood there on those columns where we took our first swing at him, I guess. There's a sight here. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. What are these? Like, concrete slabs. All stacked up on top of each other. Are these like um, tablets with writing on them? Like, like the Ten Commandments kind of thing? What are these? Oh, look at this place. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I, th I believe these have writing on them. So these are stone tablets with writing on them. And we've got parchment or something, some kind of scrolls on the ground here that we no doubt are not going to be able to read. But yeah, obviously some kind of writing on here. Item over there. More scrolls. Got scrolls in that planter vase thing. I don't know. And then this is like, uh, I guess like a a library of sorts. Let's see what this item is. Blessing of the Erd Tree. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations. Grants a greater blessing to the caster and nearby allies. 
gradually restoring a large amount of HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erd tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. We need 38 faith to cast that. Look at the texture on this um, fabric here. That's pretty neat. I like that touch. Looks uh, kind of kind of cozy. All right, let's have a uh, rest here. So what's the deal with that bloodhound dude standing guard out front of the queen's bedchamber here? And is he back? I'm going to guess that he is back because we did not get a unique item from him when we killed him. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he's not back. We didn't get an item from him, though. He just disappeared into the ground. Which I guess maybe... Makes me worried that perhaps he did drop an item, but... We didn't get to see it. Is that... Is that a place we can get to up there? I don't think it is, but... That tree root makes me wonder. Because that's right there at the bottom center of the screen, or the, the center of the screen, is tree root we used to walk in. So that we could walk out right there. Pardon me, finger reader crones. Didn't mean to walk on your body like that. I'm just going to take a look over here. So yeah, we already walked across here and over there. I don't think there's a way up there. Man, I mean, 64,000 runes. It's not even half of the way. But I still don't want to lose this many runes when we fight a boss. Although, I also don't want to jinx myself. But I was going to say, although, it's been a while since I've really had any trouble against a boss. I mean, somebody did a nice job of... Stacking all these up. Whoops, I don't want to get stuck back here. I could jump pretty high. Pretty impressive, really. Oh, oh I wanted to get on the top. No, not close enough. Um, don't think there's really anything for us to see or get back here. Well, let's keep going. See what happens here. This is where Morgoth is going to be. I know there's a Morgoth around here somewhere that we need to fight to open a seal down in the sewers. Trying to peek my head around there. Maybe you could look at this crack here. I can't really see anything. Well, um, so in the last boss fight, we used uh, Red Main Knight Oga Plus Four. Oh, I there's somebody standing here. <laughs> there's a summon here that I stood on by accident. Who is this? She's got a dagger of sorts. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Okay, well, the simple fact that there is a summons here makes me think that this is going to be a tough fight. So I'm wondering if there's something I could quickly spend my 64,000 runes on before we could go in here. Before we go in here. Um, I mean, what do I need to spend runes on? Lots of things, I guess, if you really think about it. I mean, how many... How many uh, smithing stones do these old ladies sell? And should I just buy a whole bunch of them? Be a quick way of spending some runes. Let's see what they've got. So yeah, smithing stone. They've got... Uh, 
we could buy a, an unlimited number of these, I guess. Yeah, we could buy... Oh, these are somber smithing stones. They also sell ghost glove wart, which we could use to level up our um, spirit ashes again. So, I mean, it's a bunch of weaponry here that I'll never use. Could buy another memory stone for another memory slot. I mean, that might be cool. Sure, why not? We'll get one of those. And uh, there's some rune arcs here. This is for multiplayer stuff. And they've got some crap here that I don't think I'm interested in. Let's see, we have no smithing stone level fours. No threes, no twos, no... I mean, I don't really have an Id a, a, a weapon in mind to upgrade. Um, but, um, you know, we could prepare for it. We need 12 of each of these to get up to plus 12. So, just burn off some runes this way. Still leaves us with 36,000 runes. Let's see, we've got 10 of these, 35 of these, 11 of these, and 20 of these. So we really don't need to buy any more of those. We don't have any ones of this. Um, four, three, one... So these are these these first three are just for regular old ashes to get them up to plus three. Then these are all for renowned ashes. We can get renowned ashes up to plus six. So I mean, look at this. I've got six of these. I mean, nine of these. Only five of these. Six of those. So let's say I had some renowned ashes that I wanted to to. Uh, Renowned ashes. Are these renowned? What are renowned ashes? What's considered renowned? How do I know? Legendary. Uh, what's the difference between legendary and renowned? Or I actually don't know how you're supposed to be able to look at this and determine what's what. Unless I go to the spirit lady. Yeah, I don't know. But all I'm trying to do is get rid of some stuff. So let's let's get these up to I'll buy five of those. I'll buy five of these. I'll buy five of these. We already have six of those, we already have five of those, we already have nine of those. So I still have ten thousand runes. And, um, I don't know. We'll buy a couple of these. And... I don't think I want any of this stuff. <laughs> Looks like I've already bought it all anyway. Yeah. Don't want any of this crap. Alright. Uh, 2,000 more... Wow, I can't believe how many of those I've got. Oh, I can only buy two of them. Okay. All right. Okay, there. I feel better now. Let's get out of here. Now I feel like I can freely return up here, do this fight against this boss with uh, without any worry of losing a bunch of runes. Just being on the safe side, just one less thing to worry about. You know, I like to go into these boss fights as unencumbered as possible. Oh, I'm going to look around here. Sometimes when you leave a place and then come back to it, things happen, but it doesn't look like that's the case here. Um, Yeah, let's move forward. We'll use the same summons that we used before because we only used them once. We'll go up here, we'll summon this woman, whoever she is. I should probably know, but I don't remember her. Who is she? Melina. Melina. Oh, this is the, um... The Maiden. She served as our Maiden. For a while. So we'll see if she can come in here and help us. It, oh, look at her. Cool. 
dagger, flaming dagger, neat. Okay, let's go ahead and take our flask of wondrous physic, because we're going to need it. We're going to traverse the mist. We're going to summon... Oh, no we're not. We're going to have to watch a video. Crap! Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan, Praetor Rikard, Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. Hey, buddy. That was a cool looking sword. Okay, oh. okay we got we did get to summon uh Redmane Knight Olga, that's good. But I think we're gonna need the help. All the help we could get. Ah, oh, crap. Jumped away. Oh, he brings down the big hammer. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, that did hit him. That's good. Let's do a little bit of this. It doesn't stun him, though. There's like an invisible wall here. Feels like it's, um... Oh, darn it. I can't, I'm not even taking health. Oh, jeez. Well, good thing it's raining out there. Just giving me time to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, that worked. Let's take some FP here. Hang in there. Okay, that didn't hurt him at all, unfortunately. He's pretty jumpy. Oh, that hurts. Thy part in this shall not be forgiven. Darn it, I didn't hit him again. There's a cool tree there. No, not that way. There we go. There, we got him that time. Out of FP again. Okay, I need to stay alive. So that my friends can finish him off. Morgoth's sh or Margot's shackle. Hold on a minute. Oh, crap, um... Ah, oh, jeez. Where's these shackles? Where's the other shackle? Oh, good grief. Where the hell is it? I can't believe how much time I have here to look through my inventory. Um... Oh, Moog's Shackle. Okay, for some reason I thought I had a Morgoth's Shackle, but I don't. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Aw, oh, man, I wasted it again. Okay. 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 Okay! Leave me alone! That did hit him. We don't want to get caught in this storm here. Okay, he's almost dead. I need to stay alive so we can finish him off. 
Come on. Come on, guys. Are you guys hitting him or not? Yes. I got the final blow. Nice. Nice. Oh, Melon is almost dead. We got Morgoth's Great Rune and Remembrance of the Omen King. We get another Shardbearer achievement. Morgoth's Great Rune. Remembrance of the Omen King. Remember, re remember that guy? We did it. I had help. I'm not too proud to ask for help. We cannot fast travel from here. I just noticed that icon in the upper corner. Uh, let's see what we picked up. We um, picked up Remembrance of the Omen King. Remembrance of Morgoth, the Omen King hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Erd Tree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless, love it he did. It's a weird sentence. And then we also got... Morgoth's great rune, the great rune of the shard bearer Morgoth, devoid of any benediction. Seek the divine tower of East Altus, which stands beyond the great bridge from Landell's eastern ward. And we can, pretty sure I know where that is. That is in this direction. So somewhere out here, I guess. Okay, well, we did it. We didn't even get enough runes to level up. Oh, wow. What's going on back there? Take us to the Erd Tree. Oh, if I didn't want to break it, I wanted to s jump up into it. Oh, well. Sorry, Morgoth. Uh, just kind of like doing a lap here. Just to see if there's anything hiding out here. It was nice to get some help from Melina. And Oleg, I guess, helped. I don't know. I really didn't see much of what either one of them did. I was so busy worrying about myself. Right, let's go up these stairs here and see where this takes us. Uh, call me paranoid. Before I do that, let me replace my FP and my health. Just to be on the safe side. We don't know what we're going to find up here. Oh, what have we here? Touch Wall of Thorns. Do I want to touch the Wall of Thorns? Yes, I do. Alright, let's see what happens. In impenetrable thorns refuse all none may enter the Erd tree really oh my guy thinks about that he's gonna do it again he's very persistent you have to touch the tree five times in a row before it will open to you guess not uh Oh, 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 now there's a site down here. I was like, well, now what do I do? <laughs> Can't leave this place. I still don't know what this regression message back then meant. The sky has seemed to change. Am I crazy or is the sky different? A storm rolling in here. Still can't fast travel away from here. I just want to go look over the edge and see if things look different. I'm not sure that they do. I guess I have to rest here. It's like really my only option, I believe. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk to Melina. Let's see. There she is. 
Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Rolled Medallion. A red mark was made on the map. We could talk to her again. I wish to journey with you once more to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Okay. <laughs> Somebody rebuilt the throne. Oh. Look. Look at this. That's Morgan. He's not looking so good. Let's talk to him. Tarnished. No, but a fool. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are. Sorry, buddy. None may claim the title of Elden Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <sighs> and he's dead. Hmm. I mean, I'm not really sure what to make of this guy. I mean, because, you know, this description here. I mean, it sounded like he was trying to protect the Erd Tree. Though born one of the Graceless Omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Erd Tree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless love it he did. Huh. Okay. So, I mean, I like that he was trying to protect the tree, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So, from here, now we let's, let's look at our map and see where this red marker is. Oh, okay, so there's a marker here. Grand Lift of Rolled. And then here's another one of those Volcano Manor, request, manor Requests. So, yeah, Grand Lift of Rolled. Uh, that reminds me, we did pick up another thing to look at, didn't we? key item, no doubt. And I was going to mention that when I first saw this, it looks like it is the two two halves put together there, just like the other lift medallions. Conjoined split medallion depicting the flame peak. Brandishing the medallion activates the grand lift of rolled, connecting Dell to the mountaintops of the giants. The Forge of the Flame of Ruin is said to be found upon their peaks, and it is there Melina wishes to travel in resuming your journey together. 
Okay, well, it looks like we gotta go east, huh? Definitely looks like we have to go east. Um, I mean, let's see, we could fast travel right... no. The road route. Oh, that's another map uh, icon right there, too, isn't it? We need to go over here, so we go this way, and the quickest way to get there, I believe, is East Capitol Rampart. And we could fast travel over there, but that stupid regression message is making me wonder, is the game trying to tell me to come back? I don't know. What if I just tried to run over there instead of fast travel over there? Would we see anything different? Nobody in here. Let's run back a little bit. So I guess all these finger reader crones were here to try to gain access to the tree, maybe? They all died. Maybe at the hands of that bloodhound knight, I don't know. So far, it doesn't look like anything has changed at all. We also have the Colosseum left to explore, don't we? Yeah, we have to do that. Pretty steep. It's very steep. Hmm. Well, I guess we should go to the Colosseum then. I'm calling it the Colosseum. I don't know if that's actually what it is. It looks kind of Colosseum y. Oh, jeez. I know I probably don't have to go this way, but this is the way I'm going. Let's see how much trouble I can get myself into here. Boy, they take their time. I took them out quite easily. Get some uh, flower dudes down there. Can I go down here? Let's try this. Man, this weapon just knocks them out. There's the magnificent Erd tree. Melina wants to set it aflame. Not sure how I feel about that. She makes it seem like that's the only way we could become Elden Lord. Do I even want to be Elden Lord? Yeah, I kind of do. I don't know. Just sounds cool. So we've done all this work. Kind of deserve it. I love how these plants can move. <laughs> Down here we know there's an item because we saw it from the other side. Smithing stone six. But yeah, remember... We were over there a long time ago, and we were able to look across here and see this item. Nothing hiding back there. Anything here? 
Nope. Couple more flowers here. Oh man, does this take us nowhere? Oh, another one. Look at this guy moving in here. He was really aggressive. Huh, okay. I did not think that this was going to be a dead end. But it is, isn't it? Alright, well, we came down here to get that item. This broken fence here makes me think that there's something over the ledge, but uh, it doesn't look that way, does it? Nothing other than death. So I guess we need to go back to this tree root here. Climb it and take a different path if we want to get over to this Colosseum looking building. swing every direction except the correct one. <laughs> He's trying to poison me. Guardian's sword spear. Guy's just minding his business. Come in here being Mr. Jerky Jerk. Okay, so we've been over here, where those three dudes are. Here we've got another broken railing, and um, yep, that's where that broken bridge is, where we just were. Here, another... And that'll just take us down to the area next to the other round table hold. We got this dude walking that path. All right, I'm gonna hang out here, end this episode here. I swear, oftentimes I can't believe it's already been 45 plus minutes because I enjoy this game so much. But it is time for me to do stop and go do something else. So next time when we come back, we'll explore this area. See if we can get into that building. See what there is to see. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed this video, wouldn't you be so kind as to leave me a like or a comment? I sure would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.